all right guys welcome back to the channel my name is Travis I'm glad to see you back I'm glad you uh, checked out my my video uh, but today on this video um, what do you know we're doing another no cooling call um, I just um, went into the house I talked to the customer it was sent to me that no AC I uh, went and talked to the customer they said it seems like the uh, unit is running uh, continuously it won't turn off um, I've already went inside to the thermostat. Uh, if you've ever watched my videos before, my first step when I do a, a service call is um, I always watch, listen. So I go to the thermostat, I'll turn it to cooling, I'll turn the system, turn it down to probably like 65 degrees to let it keep running while I'm working on it. So it, it basically I, what you can tell by that, if the thermostat, uh, the display is up, um, and you don't have a common on the thermostat that tells me my thermostat's getting power it tells me it's turning the unit on I always go to my vents I check my vents to see if I'm getting airflow coming out of the vents so if you've got airflow that tells me my blower's working upstairs um, so basically half of what you can find out with the air conditioner could be done just by listening and turning on your thermostat so I've already did that uh, I'm getting ready to get my tools head out to the condensing unit and uh, let's see what's going on there. I'll see you in a second. All right, guys, we are here at the condensing unit. We see our condenser fan motor is running. We can hear our compressor is running. So we know there's not anything going on pretty much with that um, so basically from this point forward um, the first thing I would do after well second third fourth thing I'll do is I'm gonna take the the lines capsule loose let's check our Freon and let's see if this system is low in Freon. like really high pressures doesn't it uh, this is actually an R410A unit um, so our pressures are going to be um, higher than on R22 and so we're reading about 125 and we're reading about 325 I'm gonna tell you that's uh, sounds pretty good uh, how you always want to verify that is you want to go in to uh, see what your equipment is rated for as far as um, uh, your superheat and subcooling always you know verify the uh, Freon uh, by that method because that's the only 100% way um, I'm pretty sure this Freon is good I think he may be having another issue um, I'm not sure yet but uh, but yeah I'm gonna um, We'll check my Freon with superheat and subcooling. Um, we'll save you on that step just for time because um, I do have another video. And hey, if you want to know how to do superheat and subcooling, look at my video for superheat and subcooling. I am um, got to promote shameless plug. Watch my other video. But uh, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and check that, uh, and then I'm gonna go upstairs and check. I'll bring you upstairs with me to check the temperature drop. Let's see what's going on with there. But also, this guy's got a zoning system. He's got a thermostat upstairs and a thermostat downstairs. And that makes this one unit work like two. And it's got a damper in two uh, of the ducts that will open and close airflow for downstairs, open and close airflow for upstairs. 
I want to check and see if there's a problem going on with that. So let me get this out of the way and I'll see you guys back upstairs. All right, we're back at the attic and what I want to do is I'm going to take my return temperature and my supply temperature. We got a gas furnace. I'm going to take my probe. I'm going to set it right here and let this thing see what we're getting as far as temperature and make sure everything's cool and good. Okay, we're reading about 75 degrees going into my furnace. We're going to check our return. I mean, our supply right here. All right, guys, we're getting about a 20 degree temperature drop on this furnace. Uh, so that tells me I checked my Supreme subcooling. My Freon is good. I've checked um, my temperature drop and sees the air conditioner is cooling. So something else is going on. Um, so I'm going to check this uh, a little bit more. And once I figure it out, I'll show you how... I do. I figured it out. Uh, I don't know if this is a customer who may be having an intermittent problem, but we're going to figure that out, and I'll be back as soon as I figure it out. All right, guys, I found out what the problem is. It's not anything wrong with the air conditioner itself. It's wrong with the zone system. Now, this system has a zoning Honeywell zone system. Um, you've got two zone motors on this system. One goes for the downstairs, one goes for upstairs. And one of the biggest problems you find, and the customer told me that this is an intermittent issue, that sometimes it happens, it doesn't happen all the time. Um, and so basically that's a big problem we always find with uh, Honeywell zone dampers, is this, the dampers in here, you've got a little, you've got a little, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a, that you can move the damper back and forth this damper for the downstairs um, is sticking um, it's basically when it's supposed to be closed it won't close or won't open all the way um, or or anything like that so basically this one damper um, is not opening it's not doing what it's supposed to so uh, we're going to have to replace that damper motor and that's why when it sticks closed because if you think of how to explain a zone system think of my arm as the uh the metal damper inside when you when your thermostat uh turns off that damper will will turn this way and close well it turns off and you're upstairs a zone it will close so no air will go down this duct and all the air will be sent up to the upstairs and so basically when this if it's closed and let's say the downstairs air conditioner turns on that damper will open up and it will send airflow down to the downstairs system so basically what he's saying is it, it always runs and, um, and it, it happens intermittently what is happening is that damper is sticking intermittently sometimes it could be open and sometimes it could be closed when I got here, I found it stuck in between. Um, so, and like I say, I, I, it won't close now. It won't do anything. So I'm gonna uh, tell the customer about it. And uh, gosh, it's really hot up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and start telling the customer. But hey, I'm glad that uh, 
I did find a call that we found a problem with the zoning system. Um, you don't, don't run into a, a whole lot of those and uh, a lot of newer technicians or whatever they don't know much about zoning systems uh, I will have a video coming more in depth about zoning systems but I did want to show you how I figured this out that um, that the air conditioner everything was wrong with the raw right with the AC system Freon was good we got a proper temperature drop it told me something else was going on with the unit started looking and noticed they had a zoning system I just, by doing this so much, I've, I know that they're bad for having intermittent problems and when the customer started talking about, you know, it does work sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. That's when I went straight to the dampers, started looking. Uh, the first thing I do is I take the little slide uh, that I showed you a minute ago and I move that back and forth, see if they move. A lot of times they'll rust themselves so you can't even actually move it. But uh, when I did that, I found that that damper for the downstairs was stuck halfway. So it was halfway closed, halfway open. I wasn't getting true airflow downstairs. Started messing with it, turned the thermostat off, found out that uh, that thermostat, I mean, not thermostat, but that damper would not close, then it would not back open back up. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this in as a uh, zone damper failure. Uh, so let's see what happens, but uh, I guess it's hot. I'm ready to get out of this attic. I know you've got things to do. But I really appreciate you guys watching. I uh, really hope you got something out of it. Um, and um, you don't see a whole lot of zoning systems, which you do is kind of interesting. So hopefully a new guy, he'll look at this and um, kind of be more informed. But I truly appreciate you guys watching this. Um, it, it makes me happy to feel like I'm, I'm helping, uh, at least I hope I am. But always, if, if you can, Hitting like and subscribe to my channel means more to me than, than you know. And uh, I'm starting to study my words. I'm so hot. So I'm going to get out of here. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I will see you next time. And uh, let's go get some water.